Hey you guys, welcome back. If you guys are new, my name is Lauren and I'm a nurse that's here for all your science back skincare reviews, also with some makeup thrown in. But today's video is going to be strictly skincare and I, I think it'll be a fun one, <laughs> I hope. This may ruffle a few feathers. I'll be talking about some hyped up skincare, some very loved skincare, especially as of recent. A few of these are newer releases that have been getting good reviews, but unfortunately, some of these products are just not working out for me. So this video is going to be all about the skincare products that I am giving up on. A lot of these are my favorite brands, but you know what? Everybody's skin is different. Not every product is going to work for everybody across the board. So here we are. <laughs> so today's video, we'll be talking about the skincare that I'm I'm just done with. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first product is by Super Goop, and this I was so excited to just try out. I thought it was so unique. I really thought it was an innovative product. This is the Shimmer Shade SPF of 30. This is a cream shadow, and I just love the idea of having a makeup product with SPF in it. Unfortunately, this creases on my lids like no other. I cannot make this work. I've used a lot of it. I I'm trying to give it the good old college try, but I just cannot make this work. It goes on kind of patchy and it dried up pretty quickly. Now it goes on pretty dry, but it does have enough slip to get across your lid. But I don't know, maybe there's too much slip to it and that's why it creases. I'm not really sure, but unfortunately this just creases on me and it's like a combination of like chalky, but yet too silky for your eyelid if that makes sense I just cannot make this work I like the color it's this like neutral champagne shade that's a nice everyday color I have the shade let's see first light but yeah it creases and it just gets patchy throughout the day so really cool concept but unfortunately I could not make this work let me know if you guys have tried this out what you guys have thought man I was so excited about this now next up is the guards up daily mineral sunscreen by the brand Versed, one of my favorite drugstore skincare brands great efficacious ingredients with affordable prices but this sunscreen unfortunately I'm learning over time it's just too drying for my skin I liked it when I first tried it out but it was in the summer when my skin was more on the oilier side now I just find myself reaching for other more moisturizing sunscreens over this one this goes on a little streaky which makes me uneasy about the SPF protection it does uh, what are we we're at an SPF of 35 and I feel like I've never gotten burnt with this I felt like it did give me decent protection but the tint goes on a little streaky it takes a little bit to get that even application when you rub it in it's a nice neutral tint it makes your skin pretty glowy but as it sets throughout the day it gives your face that tight feeling and my skin feels dry at the end of the day after using this yeah on first application it feels nice but I'm just reaching for other more hydrating SPFs over this one so unfortunately I'm gonna let go of my guards up SPF and next up is by Josie Marin this is the skin dope inner strength protein boost cream with argan oil and hemp seed oil now when I first saw the color of this cream I was definitely intrigued obviously we have a light green shade here so that's gonna be great for color correcting any redness in your skin but the color is so odd and it doesn't really blend in seam seamlessly like it leaves that like green um cringe like shall we say <laughs> appearance to your skin it's just odd now i should i should put it out there my husband is trying this and he has been using this you can see a lot of it has been used he deals with eczema and he says he really likes this so my point from the beginning not all skincare is going to work for everybody so just because this was a fail for me does not mean it will be a fail for you but the color is just odd to me and he kind of uses that as a spot treatment where his red patches are like right under his eyes but for me when i use this as an all-over moisturizer it just looks odd on my skin and now see even as i rub it in you can still see that green tint as compared to my other hand maybe this would work for somebody of a deeper skin tone but I really I don't know I feel like it would leave an odd cast to the skin and even if you're on on the fair tone side like my hands are obviously more fair it's even more apparent my husband is definitely more on the medium skin tone side so maybe that is why this cream works for him but I just cannot get over the color and I wish it was a little bit more moisturizing a lot of her other moisturizers are a lot more hydrating and yeah so I I'm done with this I'm gonna hand this over to him but he does really like it so maybe those of you that deal with redness or inflammation might get along with this but I just yeah it doesn't work for me okay so speaking of oddly tinted skincare products 
This Polish Choice Essential Glow Moisturizer is an SPF of 30. It has kiwi and licorice root in here, so I was excited for that brightening effect. I heard great things about this. It has really nice reviews, so some people really get along with this, but the color is just way too like cool toned and more of like an ashy base to it. I'll show you guys how this looks. It's very very strange. It almost gives a sallow look to the face, that like <laughs> sickly look. Let's turn down my lights and pull you guys in a little closer. But see how it has that cool toned effect to it? It just almost looks gray on the skin. See this hand is more yellow based and it's just adding a weird overall cast. And it also leaves this like mask like heavy feel on my skin. Way too heavy. It just feels like I have this like coating of lotion that I just want to rub off and I can't wait to wash my face after I put this on. It leaves a dewy sheen. I do think that sheen, that dewiness is really pretty, but I can't get behind the heaviness and the cast. Unfortunately, this did not work for me, but it does have good reviews. So again, it's, it does work for some people, but for me, it, I just could not make it work out. And then the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. Oh man, this this hurts. <laughs> it hurts my heart. This brand right here is the brand that I discovered that I was so excited about last year. Their sunscreen formulas are amazing. I love their serum. They have great formulas, but this peptide night cream it promises great things. It has peptides and ceramides and antioxidants, and the ingredient list is really nice. It's fragrance free, but this was not the experience I was hoping for. So I do feel like I got some smooth smoothness and a little bit of firming, but the thing that gets me with this, it feels super rich and it feels really nice going onto the skin, but that richness does not translate to hydration for me. I always wake up with dry skin with this and I kept attributing it to other products. I'm like, it can't be this because it feels so just so thick and luxurious on the skin. It feels so creamy, but I don't know why this is just not nourishing enough for my skin. Now, I don't know. There is shea butter in here. I was looking to see if there's oils. Maybe it's just lacking other oils. I don't know. I think that would help things. Yeah, shea butter is the big occlusive in here. There's propendial, there's glycerin, we have cholesterol, dimethicone, but I think it's just lacking some other oils for me and I just don't find this hydrating enough. Like I pack this on top of a ton of serums hoping that it'll be an occlusive cream, but it just does not do that for me. I feel like if you have normal skin to even oily skin, this would work. It's pretty light and the price is great. It's $35. I'll leave my code down below. You can get the 20% off, but... I don't know, everybody hypes this up and I just don't see the hype, unfortunately. It just is not that rich, nourishing night cream experience that I was hoping for. And this even on certain nights when I maybe over exfoliated a little bit, this didn't feel super soothing. It even gave like a tingly feeling on my skin. So I'm not sure what ingredient is in here that was causing that. Um, but yeah, unfortunately this just was not the experience I was hoping for. It did give a little bit, maybe a little bit of firming, a little bit of smoothing, but I just needed this to be more like nourishing and hydrating for my skin. So I probably would not, this was PR, but I don't think I would repurchase it. And then next up, let's talk about the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel. This is the number two version. This is the white version. <laughs> I probably scared a little people when they saw the Can Make in my thumbnail. They're like, wait a minute, you were raving about that. What are you talking about? But the number two is just not oh god the white cast the white cast is so bad the number one is where it's at that is the clear version it gives the glowiest most beautiful due to your skin it makes your skin look healthy i love that stuff i will recommend that time and time again you can get it on amazon i'll link it down below but this white cast is just too much it's just it's hydrating and i think that's why i kept trying to make this work but i'm like yeah on its own i'm just I'm like, yeah, Casper the ghost over here. <laughs> it just, I could not get this to work out. So I really can only see this working for fair skin tones. If you like that like pearly icy finish to a sunscreen, you might like this, but I don't know. You're better off just picking up the clear version. It's amazing. It's so hydrating, but not too heavy. You can wear it on her makeup. It feels amazing. I just have to call today and stop trying to make this work. Maybe I could use this on you know what a hand sunscreen as ridiculous as that sounds if a product doesn't work for you use it on other places on your body i mean sometimes they just don't get along with our makeup or other facial products that we use but use your leftovers for your hands your your chest area anywhere else where you apply sunscreen oh as i throw it <laughs> see i'm already trying to get rid of it but that is my goal this year to try and utilize my skincare in ways that i wasn't before i'm doing it a lot with my hyaluronic acid serums i cannot use them on my face anymore especially more so in the winter 
winter when my heat's on, it's dry in my house. They're just not working for me. But on my chest, on my decollete area, I feel like I'm seeing like smoothness from them and I don't need as much moisture down here as I do on my face. So that's a tip there. Use your hyaluronic acid, maybe on other parts of your body if you're not getting along with them on your face. But yeah, I need to use up some of these products because whew, my collection is getting out of hand. But all right, the next product we're going to talk about is a product from one of my most favorite skincare brands at Sephora. This makes me sad, but you know what? I just love my Timeless Vitamin C so much. I compare everything else to it. And the 50% Vitamin C and Clean Caffeine Energy Serum by Youth to the People is just unfortunately not cutting it for me. I do feel like I've seen some brightening from this and overall, it has not lightened my melasma, but I just feel like my skin looks just brighter and I'm just getting that glow from it. But my skin feels super dry at the end of the day after using this. So it's dry. I'm getting a pilly flakiness from this as well. This does not pair well with any of my other products. I have tried so many things with this and at the end of the day everything is just flaking off my face and I'm not having that you know oily occlusive layer that I like especially in the winter. It feels drying. It almost feels mask like. You initially have this gl glow to your skin but then it dries down and it kind of like <laughs> tightens up your skin and my face feels super dry after this dries down. It's also so sticky and it, there's so many other great vitamin C formulas out there that where you don't get that stickiness and for example if you're looking to spend some money on a high-end vitamin C the CEO 15% is great by Sunday Riley I got this in the skin store kit this is still available by the way I'll leave the link down below and they also gave me a 10% off or no it's a $10 off coupon code it's not affiliate but I figured I'd share it with you guys I love this bag so much but this is really great it's really smoothing and brightening on the skin I love the texture of this it makes your skin just overall bright and glowy I'm really liking this but unfortunately this this is a $68 serum and it is just not doing the trick for me gave it a good college try but I definitely want to go back to my timeless vitamin C you just cannot beat that like facial oil like consistency it works so well with other products you're getting your 20% L-ascorbic acid in here that's another point too this is a derivative which there are, are some good studies on vitamin C derivatives so you're probably gonna get brightening from this but just not as quick as something with the 20% ascorbic acid formula and this also has ginger root oil in here there's no purpose for that in skincare other than I don't know if they're trying to make it smell good but I do not find this pleasant smelling whatsoever I'm a big sushi fan, but the second I open that sushi container, I have to put the ginger to the side. I just can't stand that ginger smell. So with it being on my face, underneath my nose, it's just whew, it's a little too potent for me. Um, but it's not even just that. It's, the formula is tacky and sticky, and I don't like that tight feel on my skin. It makes my skin feel dry. So bummed to say this didn't work. I just did not like the formula. Okay, next up. Here we go, time for me to get kicked off the Youth to the People PR list. <laughs> the Youth to the People Dream Eye Cream. The smooth, hydrate, and firm. This eye cream has jo goji, stem cells, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C. Great ingredients in here, I was so excited about this. And I actually, I liked this when I first started using this, but as time went on, I felt like I, I don't know if I developed a sensitivity to this. This does have some like plant extracts in here which are probably in here for the antioxidant benefits. There's no smell to this. But I ex I started to experience some stinging and tingling around my eyes and my eyes were starting to water. I'm like, am I applying too much? Is it getting in my eyes? Like what's going on here? But the more and more I use this, I noticed there's definitely something going on with some kind of allergy or more so irritation. I shouldn't call it an allergy. There's some kind of irritation going on with it. This has a nice rich creamy consistency, but I felt like the hydration was still lacking. Like it feels really thick on the skin, but I would wake up with my under eyes still feeling slightly dry. It's not as nourishing as I would hope so unfortunately yeah this I probably am gonna give up on this as well and that that irritation too I cannot take like the tingling and the teary eyes it's just not worth it to me my favorite youth to the people product has to be the adaptogen moisture cream if you're looking for a burst of moisture in a 
a moisture cream that is amazing i cannot get enough of that i actually i need to repurchase that i really miss having that in my collection and the adaptogen soothe and hydrate mist you guys know i always rave about this there's actually a set i'll link it down below it's 25 bucks and you can try out this with the adaptogen moisture cream so i think that's a great buy if you're looking to try out some youth to the people but yeah unfortunately these are fails so i'm sorry you to the people thank you for sending these out i appreciate it but yeah they just did not work for me all right so that concludes my skincare products that i'm letting go of let me know if there's any skincare fails that you had recently or are there any really hyped up products that you just cannot understand the hype behind like especially I, when i was looking up a few of these ingredients just to review things for this video i could not get over how many amazing reviews there were for this product also the dermatology moisture cream i know everybody raves about as well but you know skincare is not going to work universally across the board everybody's skin is different you just got to pick and choose skincare is a journey i'm starting to learn that i'm liking oils a lot more than i thought i did and your skin changes as you age as well your skin's ever changing you just have to modify your routine as you go but we're learning together and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys